Yo, welcome back to a new guide, because in today's video I'll be showing you how to install and set up Nature Macro, while also troubleshooting some issues that you may have within Roblox or Nature Macro. So without more waiting, let's get straight into it. Now first, what you want to do is check your system's hardware. Now to simply do that, you want to go to the taskbar, right click, task manager, then go here, performance, then go to the CPU. What you want to check for is your CPU speed, which is at least 2 GHz. If it's more than that, then you're probably good to go. For your memory, it should be a gigabyte, and for your GPU, it should be anything, but whatever works. Now, that's the first step done. Now, for your second step, simply go to your desktop, right click, and go here, display settings. Then check your skill. If it's 100%, then you're good to go. For your display, just simply make it the highest, or you can go a little lower, but you shouldn't go too low because Nature Macro will break. And that's basically it. Now finally, comes the download part. Now what you want to do is either go to the link in my description right here, or you should simply join my Discord server, go to the link's channel, and download it instantly from here. Now just simply click, and you're gonna see this, but don't worry, it's not a hack client. Continue to download. And congratulations, it's now downloaded. Now, you can go from the GitHub and simply click here, go down, and click the zip. Now, it's exactly the same file, don't worry. Now, what you want to do is click this, open it up, extract all, anywhere you want. Give it a second. And boom, now you have this file. Now, I recommend you just open it. And you can have the start, which is simply starting Nature Macro. Give it a second. And congratulations, you now have Nature Macro installed. It's simple as that. Now, if you want to find this file, you can simply just drag it outside to your desktop, uh, whatever you want. Now, for the final part, which is setting up Nature Macro, what you want to do is simply have Roblox open by your side and Nature also by your side. Simply go to settings in Nature, and you're going to see a lot of these confusing settings. But don't worry, I got you. Now what you want to do is first of all check if you don't have any type of haste in game and go in settings, go all the way down, uh, you gotta see movement speed. Now copy this number and put it right here and make sure you don't have any type of haste. Just smash this right here and boom. Now for your second step is simply going to the sprinkle type. Just select whatever sprinkler that you have. For me, I have Supreme right there. So I have Supreme on. Anyways, for here, you want to go and have a fallback public server either on or off. Now what happens is if you disconnect in game or if you're in a private server, this will automatically make you join a public server so you don't lose any progress overnight. So it depends on what you want. Now for Nature So Broke, wary, it's just a joke that makes you type something in chat when you reconnect if you disconnect in Nature. Now finally, for the hive slots, simply just select how many bees you have. Personally, I have 50 bees. And you want to go here. And this is the first hive, and all the way there is the last hive. So just make this, I'll make mine three. Hold on. And claim my hive. And boom, now you just have literally everything set up. Anyways, for an extra part, simply you want to go to the private server link and add your own private server if you have one. Just put the link right here. And what happens is if you disconnect inside Roblox, Nature Macro is going to reconnect you to your own private server. Or you can have fallback to public server if you don't own a private server. Or you're just using anyone's server. And that's basically it in settings. Now, for here, you have disabled tool use. This is not really needed. And for announced guiding star, you shouldn't do that because some people can report you in chat and you can get banned in Roblox, and you don't want that. Anyways, now for your info, Nature Macro is not a hack client, so don't worry, you're not gonna get banned for using it, and you're not gonna get flagged for anything. Now, for the final thing, simply just go right here, select any fill you want. Let's say I want mushroom, I want snake, uh, whatever the pattern is. Now, there's a lot of guides and a lot of help that you can get from this, so you can ask in the comments, or you can go to my Discord server, or Nature Macro's Discord server. And just select whatever you want, collect, I'll just disable clock, and maybe have the field in center. Hold on. Center. Now, you can start by F1, pause by F2, and stop by F3. Now, I'm just going to click F11. Zoom up. And click F1 to start. Give it a second. It's going to reset. Now, that's normal, by the way. Don't worry. This is not something that's going to happen by accident. Now, if you spawn here, it's going to reset again. So, give it a second. And there you go. Now it's back in the hive. Just give it a second and it is working. 
Now, just wait and try everything so we can make sure that it works. Now, for here, it's just gonna walk all the way to Mushroom. Instead of using the cannon, because sometimes if the field is far, it's gonna use the cannon. It plays a sprinkler. And now you are locked in. Now, I forgot to mention one thing. Hold on. I'll click F2 to pause. You can have Drift Comp, which is right here. Now, what happens is if you have um, a Supreme Sprinkler like mine, it will simply drift to it. So, for example, when you use Nitro and you have some lag, you can drift a little bit out of the field and you can just start grinding out of the field. Now, just enable Drift Comp and it's gonna check if you have a sprinkler like this and it's gonna see its pixel go right there. And it's gonna keep like going closer to it if you get what I mean. And basically that's it. Now your macro is working fine. You can enable a lot of things. You can just learn more about it later. And I'll make different videos on explaining how everything works. But anyways, thank you for watching guys. I know this was a little complicated and this was my first time doing something like this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And obviously subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching guys and see ya again and again.